today I have a very interesting compass exercise for tango for you and you'll see how a tiny little change makes a huge difference. Vámonos. Hi, this is Guillermo Guillén for Flamenco Maps. Welcome to my channel. Whether you dance flamenco, you sing flamenco, you play guitar, you play palmas, you play cajon, you just want to understand how it works and practice a bit of rhythm. Today, compass in flamenco is one of the biggest challenges. So we need to develop our ability to the maximum and practice a lot. So let's practice together a very interesting exercise that you can use in many different ways for many different things. With this exercise you will obviously practice your compass, your sense of rhythm, internalize better the compass de tango. You'll be able to understand and use better the materials that you already have for tango and it will enhance your creativity because you'll be able to modify things, to uh, apply variation to customize the material, the rhythmical material that you already have. And you'll also be able to understand better what you are listening to when you are listening to flamenco or to any kind of music. And you'll be able to understand and reproduce instantly rhythmic elements, rhythmic patterns. Let's take our simple compass de tango, four beats with the main accents, the pillars of the compass on the beat one and three. If you like the Legos like me, it would be something like that. One, two, three, four, with the pillars of the compass on one and three. I love Legos, okay? It helps me a lot, so maybe it can help you too. As always, when we practice together, we'll use El Tito and we'll set it up at a reasonable speed, 130 BPM, four beats. And we'll also use the count on our fingers. If you haven't watched the video about that, it's here somewhere, you can go and check and come back here. And we'll also practice with our palmas. So we have our compass running one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and we start walking on one and three as always, one, three. One, three, and then we start counting on our fingers. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And here is the game. We'll anticipate each beat. We'll do it one by one, okay? One after the other. First with the first beat, then with the second beat, the third beat, the fourth beat, and see what happens. What uh, does that change in the feeling, in the rhythmic sensation? Instead of singing or clapping one specific beat, we'll accentuate the a beat right before it. If it's the four, for example, we'll put the accent, the stress on three end. We have four beats, so we have four different possibilities. I think it's very interesting in this case to observe that we can consider a contratiempo as an anticipation of a beat. It's not just a, a golpe or a palma there in between, it's an anticipation of a beat. We could also, uh, and I will create exercises for the same concept, but not anticipation, but a delay of the beat. And you'll see it will be different and very interesting. If it's not really clear, let's go with the first option you understand. Let's start with the first beat. Instead of singing on the one, we'll sing on the four and. One, two, three, four, and. Two, three, four, and. Two, three, four, and. Usually we have a bass no, or a foot on the first beat. Boom, pa, 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 boom, pa, 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 boom. So here we'll take the same boom and instead of singing it on the one, we'll sing it on the contratiempo between four and one. Vámonos con el tito. Normal version first and then I switch. One, two, three, four, boom, pa, 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 boom, pa, 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 boom, pa, 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 boom, pa, pa, boom, pa. Boom, 
it doesn't remind you that song of Genesis, I can dance. I can dance. I can dance. I can dance. Sorry, I'm not a singer. It's very, very useful to have this kind of reference, like Genesis. This is the Genesis effect. It's a way to organize everything in our head. And then when we need a special effect, we know I want the Genesis effect. One, two, three, four. Ah. If you want a more flamenco example, you have Como el Agua, the Camarón. One, two, the guitar part at the beginning. If we play normal compass with the guitar, like this. And we modify it with the Genesis effect, it could be something like this. When we play rumba, this is what we do all the time, a bit faster, like this. Next one is the second beat. So now instead of clapping or singing on the two, we'll sing or clap on the one end. Tito, vamonon. Un, dos, tres, cuatro. Un, dos, tres, cuatro. Pum, pa, tac. Tum, pa, 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 pa, tac. With palmas. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. It's just another effect, another sensation, another feeling. For this one, I haven't found any song, any clear reference. So if you have one, please tell me in the comment. Now the third beat. So same thing, we'll anticipate the third beat and we'll sing it on the two end, the up beat. Tito, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Paka. Pum pa ka pa 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 Contratiempo between the two and the three is very interesting because it's the base for the pattern of milonga, Argentinian milonga, not flamenca, okay? This kind of milonga. This one I call it the milonga effect. And now comes the fourth beat that will clap or sing on the a beat between three and four. Three and. Amo Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Tum ta ta ka. 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 Tum. For this one, I don't have reference either, but with the guitar, we do this a lot.
it was quite easy to find examples and references for the first and the third effect, the Genesis effect and the Milonga effect. It turns out that these are the anticipation of the pillars of our compass, the one and the three. Is it a coincidence? Hmm. I haven't found any clear example for the uh, second and the fourth variation for now, but I'm sure they exist. And please, if you know songs like this, let me know. Comments. Another very simple exercise, right? But you see, with very small changes, we change completely the sound, the feeling of this compass, and we can create many different patterns for the guitar, for the cajon, for the palmas, for everything, marcajes para el baile. And why do we do that? Just because we want some variation sometimes. It would be boring all the time the same. So we just want to create an effect or a dynamic or just a little more of interest in a musical phrase, a rhythmic phrase. With this, you have another simple but very efficient creative tool to develop your rhythm, to develop your rhythmic vocabulary, your rhythmic material, and to go towards something more elaborated, more interesting, and more personal. Because at the end of the day, this is what we want, something personal. Just try, experiment as much as you can. This is the key to develop your skills and your own personality. I hope it could help. Thank you so much for watching again. If you like this video, give it a like, share it, subscribe to the channel, and also leave me a comment, a nice one, but also tell me what you want, what you need, what kind of exercise you liked, and what kind of topic you want me to talk about. I also invite you to go and check flamencomaps.com. There I explain all my classes, my courses, my way of teaching flamenco. And there is a free little gift waiting for you there. So I see. Till then, don't forget, learn flamenco, make it fun, make it different, make it yours. Thank <laughs> you.